Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes it's helpful to be able to separate the tone, the blacks and whites, from the colours in a picture so you can treat them separately. Here's a method I actually found by just playing around with the other day. Sometimes it's just a good idea, just click on stuff, stuff see what happens. Anyway, here we go. So start with your background there and hit Ctrl J twice, once, twice as to duplicate the layer so you've got now three copies of this the background here the bottom one is going to be the um, just the original so that we can use it um, the next one we can actually change that say to to colors and this one will change to tones and what we're going to do in do is turn off the top one first so we can work on the colors then we click on a little circle down there so that we can get to the adjustments so we're going to go to curves now the trick is to go from rgb to cmyk and then in that instead of the master we go down to black and here, perhaps strangely, we're going to pull this right-hand node all the way to the bottom because that takes out the blacks. It's all effectively zero. And that leaves us with just the colours. We're not going to do anything else with this, so we're going to just merge it. Then we go to the tone, so we turn that one on and do something similar. Go down here to adjustments, put in the curves, bring that up change from RGB and go to CMYK and now we're going to go to master and go to cyan and pull this down so we're getting rid of cyan it's all down to zero we're going to go to magenta and do the same to that so you see we're getting rid of colours so we next go to turn to yellow and pull that down as well so we've zeroed out effectively which are flat lined cmy so let's merge that one in there now we've got a layer here at the top which is tones which is the blacks and whites and underneath one is a layer of colours but how do we get these next puzzle to combine to so we get to the original picture and the answer is go to where the normal is here which is where the blend modes are and then go down to multiply and that will recombine them whilst they're still separate so if I turn off these two there's the original turn them on again and now those two combining to form exactly the same picture this allows us to do things separately and keep one thing. So, for example, if I want to, particularly I've got a bit of noise in the sky, for example, I might want to put a bit of a blur on it, but I don't want to blur the, t the tones. I just want to blur wherever the noisy colours are. If it is in the tones, then we can blur that layer, but we can treat the layers separately. So, uh, for example, I could go to colours here and say I want to... Uh, blur this but if I look at the colors there's it's very difficult to select the sky here so what I do is I go to the background layer that's one of the reasons I keep it now if I go to the selection brush tool here and with snap to edges on go across here and there we go I've got that I've got the sky nicely selected but the selection appears on all layers so I can go to the colors layer let's turn off the top layer so I can see that for the moment then if I put on say a blur so the live filters go up to Gaussian blur and bring this up now I can put a blur into the sky if I want to which would just get rid of any slight noise if I go too far up it's highly visible but a little bit just a tiny bit is enough to knock out any noise which is more likely to appear in the sky any JPEG artifacts for example 
and so that you can carry on like that you can do different things on different layers but that's the general principle if you separate out your tones and your colors you can treat them separately okay there we go hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching